I spent a lot of time in the greater Yellowstone area this summer. It's a place I'm not sure I can adequately describe. It's vast, remote, beautiful, and wild. Being there is like stepping back in time. The wildlife is free to roam and I am so thankful that I am allowed in their home. This year, I camped in the park in my home on wheels for the first time, and that was truly an amazing experience. Well, I have a bison scratching his head right on my pic uh, I was gonna say picnic basket, picnic table. You almost hit your little satellite dish. Yeah. Yikes. Camp. Oh, this could be cool. Oh Let's my go gosh, right he's going fire. right to the camp, the other people. Right by the fire. I was going for the picnic table. He's like, I want to scratch my back on this one too. Listen to him grinching. It was time to leave the home on wheels behind and get ready for a trip on foot into the backcountry. What's your current state of affair? I am in Yellowstone National Park. About to go backpack to Wolf Lake with my brother Andrew and my great friend Catherine. So what else are you doing now? Packing. To go to do what? To go on a hike. Nice. A little mini backpacking trip to Wolf Lake where we might see some wolves, we might see a Bigfoot, we might see a grizzly, or we might just sit there by a fire and enjoy the nice air and sunset. Whatever we do, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Yep. Good time. Even the drive to your destination is exciting in Yellowstone National Park. We stop for a quick bite to eat before making our way to the trailhead. We're here at the Wolf Lake Trailhead getting ready to head out on an overnight adventure. I hear it's a pretty wild area and the possibility of seeing wildlife is very high. So fingers crossed at a safe distance. I'm here with Andrew Coconado and Joey Coconado and it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be great. <laughs> The Wolf Lake Trail travels through forests and swampy meadows and passes by the Little Gibbons Falls, eventually meeting up with Wolf Lake. A short distance into the hike, we reached Little Gibbon Falls, which were just beautiful. I once said I would never backpack in grizzly country. Never say never. I can't describe the feeling that it gives you. It's a nervous, excited adrenaline rush.
Cat is trying to show my brother how to filter water. Instead, my brother is trying to see if he has internet service so he can check his messages. We're about a mile away from camp and we stopped here by the Gibbon River to filter some water and camel up pretty much. It's really hot today. It is in the mid 80s, I'd say. So it's not hard hiking, but it's hot hiking. And uh, it feels really good to take a break here and chug some nice, cool river water. So yeah, we'll get back on the trail in just a few minutes and be at camp fairly soon. Before we knew it, we had arrived at Wolf Lake. Guess we're crossing this thing. And of course, you can't do this hike without having to cross the Gibbon River. At the mouth of Wolf Lake. It was only a short distance to our campsite 4G6. Get what? You're going to secure your food before, because you don't want to really bring your food over to where you're going to set up your tent. You might drop some of those like crumbs. And then the bear could come through the camp and he could smell those crumbs. He'd be like, man, I'm hungry. Maybe we should go check out what those crumbs are. Those over there are our smelling tent? around. And then he gets some crumbs and he smells Cat's tent, smells my tent, and then he smells your tent. He's like, oh, I can smell those crumbs in that tent. Then you have a problem. So that's why you always want to like leave your food in the food prep area and secure it before you walk away. Both because the bears might get it, and because the mice and rats might get it, poop all over it, and because park rangers might walk in here and write you a $300 fine for leaving your food unattended. Has that happened to you? No. Because I always play by the rules. That is the food hanging pole up very high. We've made it to our camp. We're in the trees, which I like because it's very hot. So it's nice and shady and it's kind of spooky, which is kind of what you want in Yellowstone. <laughs> At least that's the vibe I like to have. Um, so we have these meadows, open meadows, all around us. Hopefully we can see some wildlife later. We just saw a blue heron kind of flew out of nowhere. Unfortunately, I didn't get a shot of it, but it spooked me for a second at this huge, beautiful bird. And we're hearing some unusual bird sounds, which I'm not familiar with. Maybe a loon, but I don't know if they have loon here, loons here. Anyhow, we're going to start getting our tent set up shortly and relax, have a nice dinner, have a fire. We're allowed to have fires here. It's going to be a nice night in the back country of Yellowstone. Probably have to go a little further because I've got Where is it? a feather on the ground right over there. Do you like feathers? Put it in your hat. In grizzly country, it's good to set your tents up close together, and I felt pretty safe being flanked by the Coconado brothers.
Camp chores were almost done, and I think we were all looking forward to a nice evening by the fire. We cooked up some brats we had packed in over the flame and had a nice time sharing stories. After dinner, I went out to the meadow to check for wildlife and what I first thought was a bear in the distance turned out to be a large moose. I was still very excited to see this magnificent beauty. We wound the night down by the fire as the woods got spookier the darker it got. Good morning. It is a chilly morning here in Yellowstone. I slept really well last night though. We were all very close together, so I didn't feel too nervous. Uh, they're getting a fire going, so I think I'm going to go get warm by the fire. The plan for the day was a nice breakfast by the fire before packing up camp and heading out. We are packed up and hitting the trail. Uh, we are going back the same way we came, so there's not really a whole lot to see. A lot of the trail is through the trees, but uh, if there's anything interesting, I will show you. If not, this was just a quick trip, quick overnight getaway. Love being in Yellowstone, and thank you so much for joining me. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.